The pangolin is a fascinating animal, unique amongst mammals through its own set of characteristics. A pangolin is covered in large, dense, interlocking scales made of keratin that cover the back and sides of the animal entirely, providing a protective suit of armor against possible predators. When threatened by one of its natural predators, such as a lion or other predatory big cats, a pangolin will roll itself up into a tight ball, protecting its soft underbelly. Pangolins are insectivores, primarily feeding on ants and termites, using a long, sticky tongue to extract these insects from their colonies. This tongue is so long that it's stored in a sack near the pangolin's hip. These mammals use their strong, sharp claws on their forelimbs to dig through the dense material of termite mounds and ant colonies. In order to keep their claws sharp enough to dig with, pangolins walk solely on their hind legs, using their large tail to balance, reserving their forelegs exclusively for digging. The species is typically shy, reclusive, solitary, and nocturnal. There are eight species of pangolins. Four of these species are found in the southern half of Africa, while the other four species are found spread out through Southeast Asia. While there are many similarities between Asian and African pangolins, there are a few differences. Perhaps the biggest difference is that Asian pangolins typically have thick bristles that extend out from between their scales, while African pangolins lack these bristles. The pangolin is found in a variety of habitats, including woodlands, arid deserts, and tropical regions. Unfortunately, all of these species are listed as rare and threatened, endangered, or critically endangered. Because of their elusive nature and endangered status, it has been challenging for researchers to study the pangolin. For some time, it was believed that perhaps armadillos and pangolins were related and could have possibly come from a common ancestor. Both animals fill similar roles in their prospective ecosystems, with similar traits between the two species. Like a pangolin, the armadillo is an insectivore consuming ants and termites as well as other invertebrates such as earthworms, beetles, and larvae, with a hardened exterior that protects the animal from predators. The armadillo even rolls into a ball, much like a pangolin, to make themselves almost impervious to predatory attacks. Despite some similarities, it has been found that these two species are in fact not related. Perhaps they are both filling a niche in their respective ecosystems, roles left empty following the extinction of large dinosaurs that used to roam the earth. In North and South America, the armadillo fulfilled a similar role, once held by the ankylosaurs, such as the notosaurs, utilizing its thickened hide and short, squat body type to defend against predators. Pangolins may now be filling a role in Africa and Asia that was once held by stegosaurs. Some evolutionary biologists take this idea a step further, claiming that pangolins may indeed be the actual descendants of stegosaurs. According to some interpretations of the fossil record, there are some researchers that believe it is possible that stegosaurus may have not been a dinosaur or even a reptile, but instead an ancient mammal or a precursor to the other mammals, such as the pangolin. The shape of the stegosaurus plates are quite similar to the scales of a pangolin, and some paleontologists have believed that in the past that the stegosaurus may have carried its plates flat against its back, using these plates as a form of protection. One of the earliest illustrations of stegosaurus demonstrates what the stegosaurus might have looked like had its plates laid flat on its back. The skeletal structure of a pangolin is quite similar to a stegosaurus, with similar proportions and skull structures. However, most paleontologists have disputed any claims that the stegosaurus may have had its plates mounted in any other way than vertically along the back, the consensus being that they were used for thermal regulation and would have been too fragile to use for protection. Many also thought that the pangolin may be related to anteaters or aardvarks. The anteater also has a long, sticky tongue. In fact, one of the common names of the pangolin in Africa is the scaly anteater. Surprisingly, Recent genetic research indicates that while the pangolin does not have any close relatives left, the closest genetic group of animals are carnivores, such as wolves and big cats. The earliest known fossils of the pangolin date back to the Paleocene epoch, approximately 66 to 55 million years ago. During this time, evidence in the paleoarchaeological record indicates that the pangolin originated in what would become Europe, with the oldest known pangolin fossils found in this region. As the climate changed and began to cool down, pangolins began spreading out of Europe to the warmer climates of Asia and Africa. While many groups, including the IUCN Pangolin Specialist Group, Saving Vietnam's Wildlife, and the Rare and Endangered Species Trust Africa, continue to gather more information about pangolins in ways that we can save this incredible mammal.